Feel the tops of your shoulders relaxing as the crown of your head moves up towards the sky. As you continue to draw your attention to your breathing, beginning the practice now of naming your breath. As you inhale, say to yourself silently, breathing in. And as you exhale, say to yourself silently, breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Deep, full breaths. You can keep your eyes closed or softly open them as you release your hands. Allow them to be directly in front of you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, begin to hinge, fold forward. Make it a gentle fold forward. Each inhale, imagine you can lengthen your spine just a little bit more. And on your next exhale, begin to walk your hands back up. If your legs are crossed, switch the orientation of your feet. Inhale, lengthen along your spine. Exhaling, begin to hinge, fold forward. Attention on your breath. Inhale, draw back up from low belly. Come back up into seated. Interlacing your hands. Inhale, sweep arms up and overhead. Ex bending at elbows, bring palms behind your head. Inhale, hands rise. Exhale, lower back down. We'll do our shoulder vinyasa. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, hands rise, exhale, lower back down. One or two more times, breathing in, breathing out. This next time, release your hands. Just mindfully helping yourself into all fours with the crown of your head facing up towards the top of your mat. Spread your palms wide, press down through your shins and tops of your feet. As you draw your lower navel up towards your spine, inhale, turn your toes, send your hips back and then up into downward facing dog. Allow micro bend in your knees. You can puddle your feet, elongating the opposite leg as you bend the other. Sense your shoulder blades drawing together, sliding down your spine. Attention on your breath. Good, and then coming to a, a still downward facing dog. Inhale, come high to toe, step or walk up to the top of the mat into a forward fold. Let your head be heavy. Softening knees. You can reach for elbows if you like the ragdoll variation of forward fold or let your hands rest down towards the mat. Maybe shake your head yes, shake your head no. Inhales, lift from low belly, lead with your heart. Come all the way up into standing at the top of your mat with gaze lifted. With weight even on the soles of your feet, inhale, sweep arms up and overhead, exhaling, hinging your hips, fold forward, fingertips down to the ground, lengthening your spine, step back into downward facing dog. Arjo Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, come high to toe. Step your right foot up into a high lunge, lowering to knee and top of back foot for a low lunge. Draw the thigh bones in, lift from low belly, sweep arms up, bring palms together. Exhaling, hinge. Inhale, hands rise. Exhale, return down to low lunge. Turn your back toe, lift your knee. Exhale, step back into plank or push up position. Feel the strength of your core and lowering knees. Keep elbows close to the sides of your body as you lower all the way down to Bhujangasana or Cobra Pose. 
Inhale, lengthen, lift along your spine. Inhale, turn toes, press back through all fours, downward facing dog. Notice your breathing. Taking the other side, inhale, high to toes, step the left foot up this time. Lower to knee, top of back foot. Thigh bones draw in, lift from low belly, sweep arms up, bring palms together. Exhaling, hinge at elbows, relax shoulders. Inhale, hands rise, return back down to low lunge. Turn your back toe, lift your knee, exhale, step back plank or push up position. Strengthen core, feel the legs strong as you lower knees, elbows stay close to the body as you come down to your belly for cobra. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lift along the front of your spine. Turning toes, press back through all fours, downward facing dog. Pause here, take a couple deep and full breaths. Coming high to toes, step or walk top of the mat, forward fold, soften knees, head heavy. Lift from low belly, lead with your heart, come all the way back up into standing, gaze lifted. Let's do sun salutation one more time. Weight even on your feet. Inhale, sweep arms up and overhead. Exhaling, hinging at hips, fold forward. Draw lengthening your spine. Step back into downward facing dog. Becoming high to toes. Help your left foot up into a high lunge. Lower to knee and top of back foot. Press down through the top of the back foot. Feel your back leg strong. Lift from low belly, lead with your heart. Sweep arms up, bring palms together. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, hands rise. Exhale, return back down to low lunge. Turn your back toe, lift knee. Exhale, step back plank. Keep your hips low, legs are strong. Lowering knees, come all the way down to your belly. Bow lift along the front of your spine. Turn your toes, press back through all fours, downward facing dog. Notice the quality of your breathing. And say to yourself silently as you inhale, breathing in. And silently as you exhale, breathing out. Stepping the right foot up this time, high lunge. Low lunge, press down through the top of the back foot, lift from low belly, sweep arms up, bring palms together. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, hands rise. Return back down to low lunge. Turn your back toe, lift knee. Exhale, step back plank. Deep, full breaths. Lowering knees, elbows close to the body as you come down into cobra. Notice the strength in your legs. Turn your toes, press back through all fours, downward facing dog. Pausing here, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift weight slightly to the left. Extend your right leg back behind you, hip level. Send the back foot back behind you as your shoulders continue to slide down your back. And then exhale, lower. We'll take the other side. You'll shift weight slightly to the right and extend your left leg back behind you, hip level. Leg is strong. Send the foot back to the back wall behind you. And then lower. Inhale, come high to toes. Step or walk up to the top of your mat into a forward fold. Let your head be heavy. You can reach for elbows either in front or behind your knees. Release elbows if you have hold of them. Lift from low belly, lead with your heart. Come all the way back up into standing. Gaze lifted. Standing at the top of your mat, your hands can be at hips or heart center. Set your gaze. Feel the weight even on the soles of your feet. As you shift weight to the left and bring the sole of the right foot to either ankle, calf, inner thigh, any stage of Rikshasana tree pose. Feel your shoulders relaxing. Mm -hmm. 
and then releasing that, come back into standing, reset your foundation physically, coming back to your breathing. Inhale, shift weight to the right, sole of left foot this time, ankle, calf, inner thigh. Keep attention on your breath. And releasing your foot down. You're standing at the top of your mat. Inhale, hands to hips. Shift weight to the right. Take a wide quarter turn to the left. Micro bend in front knee. We'll move into triangle, extending arms up shoulder level, palms facing down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Right at the right hip crease, lower bottom arm. Top arm sweeps up for triangle. Lean back and into your own spine and notice the strength down the back leg. Weight stays even between the soles of your feet. Breathe. And lifting from low belly, inhale, come back up to center, hands to hips, feet parallel, and then your left toes to the back of your mat. Sweep arms up, relax shoulders. Hinging at hip, lower bottom arm, top arm sweeps up. Lean back and into your own spine. Continue to inhale, lengthen just a little bit more. Drawing up from low belly, inhale, come back to center. Hands to hips, take your feet parallel. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, begin to hinge, fold forward. Take several breath cycles to come all the way down into a forward fold, your version. Let your head be really heavy here. You might notice weight shifting back into heels. Draw it forward so it stays balanced on the soles of your feet. Good option. You can stay here or walk hands forward, keeping all the weight in the feet. Sense a lengthening along your spine. Relax head, neck, shoulders. Walk hands back under your shoulders. Draw thigh bones in, hands to your hips. Lift from low belly, lead with your heart. Come all the way back up. Your stance is very wide. You may want to shorten it just slightly. Pivot your right toes to the top of the mat. Come to the toes of your back foot as you square hips. Back leg strong. Inhale, exhale. Step up into standing top of the mat. Let your hands be at your sides. Inhale, sweep arms up towards the sky. Relax your shoulders. Lean back and into your own spine as heart lifts. Gaze lifted. Exhaling, hinge. Fold forward, hands down to the mat. Lengthening your spine, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, cup high to toes, lower your knees, all fours. Build a stable, strong, all fours position. Lower navel draws up towards your spine, micro bend and elbow creases. Shifting weight to the left, extend your right leg back behind you, hip level. Pay attention, notice the position of your body, particularly in the low body, and then simply lower toes down to the mat. Keep hips square, notice if there were any shifts in your alignment, and then lifting from low belly, lift the leg back up, hip level. Back of the knee shines up towards the sky. Bending at your knee, draw sole of the foot up towards the sky and lift slightly from the front of the thigh. Unbend leg, release back down into all fours. Round up through upper spine, exhaling, lengthening. Heart center moves toward the top of your mat. Inhale, round up right between the shoulder blades, exhaling, lengthening. One more time, inhale, draw up right between the shoulder blades, exhaling, lengthening. 
come back to all fours. Other side, shift way right. Extend left leg back behind you, hip level. Pay attention to the alignment of your body. Simply lower toes down to the mat. See if there are any shifts in your hip. Draw thigh bone in, and on your next exhale, lift from low belly, back leg lifts. Back of the knee shines up towards the sky. You can bend left knee as the next stage. And maybe you can press up through the front of the thigh, so foot moves directly towards the sky without opening in the hip. Breathe. But if you bent your knee, unbend, lower back down. Inhale, round up right between the shoulder blades. Exhaling, set hips back to your heels. Draw up low belly. Inhale, come back up to all fours. Round up right between the shoulder blades. And exhale, float hips back to your heels. One more time, round up between the shoulder blades. Exhale, set hips to your heels. And then draw back up to all fours. Turn your toes, send hips back and then up, downward facing dog. Coming high to toes, step or walk, top of the mat, forward fold. Let your head be heavy. You can reach for elbows again, in front of knees or behind. Shake your head, yes and no. Deep, full breaths. You have hold of elbows, release those now. Lifting from low belly, sweep arms up. Come all the way up into standing. Gaze lifted. We're standing at the top of your mat once again. Feet hip distance apart. Let your hands rest to your hips. Shifting weight to the right or the left. Bend the right knee, heel toward hip. I'm so used to mirroring. And exhale, release that. Lift and spread toes, weight even on the soles of your feet. Relax shoulders. As you set your gaze, take the other side. Shifting weight. Bend left knee, heel toward hip. Lowering back down. Bring your palms together at heart center for a moment. Close your eyes. Cleansing breath. Breathe in through nose, out through mouth. Check in with your breathing. Notice if you're still with the practice of naming your breath. Maybe you've lost it. Come back once again. So as you inhale, say to yourself silently, breathing in. As you exhale, say to yourself silently, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And opening your eyes, you're at the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep arms up and overhead. Exhaling, hinging your hips, fold forward, hands down to the ground. Lengthening your spine, step back into downward facing dog. Come high to toes. Inhale, step the right foot up into a high lunge. The back leg is really strong and then ground through the sole of the back foot. You pivot the left hip open just a little bit. Bring hands to thighs. Sweep arms up. You're in warrior one, Virabhindrasana one. Draw the thigh bones in, lift the gaze. Breathing in, exhale, bring arms out wide like a field goal. Relax shoulders. Inhale, extend arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring arms out into a field goal position. Good, once or twice more. Breathing in, arms extend up. Exhale, as you take arms out wide, relax shoulders. One more time, lower body stable, strong. Good, and as you come to the the cactus arms or field goal arms. Next step, last time you can bring hands to either side of front foot. 
Come to the toes of the back foot, step back into downward facing dog. Attention on your breath. Inhale, come high to toes, lower knees, all fours. Bring your right hand to your low belly. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, begin to twist to the right from low belly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist from low belly. Low ribs. And then up to heart center. Exhaling, thread right arm through underneath your left. Shoulder might come to the mat. Inhale, extend arms up, unwind. Exhaling, thread arm through. We'll take this a few more times. Notice the stability of your low body. Press down through shins and tops of your feet. Breathing in, breathing out. We'll meet back in all fours. From all fours, as you press down through tops of feet, turn toes, send hips back and up, downward facing dog. Come high to toes, help the left foot up into a high lunge. Back leg is strong, ground through the sole of the back foot. Bring hands to thighs and sweep arms up and overhead. We're in warrior one. Rear Bandrasana one, draw the thigh bones in. As you exhale, take your arms out like a field goal. Relax shoulders. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, hinge. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just a few more times. And this last time, as you bring your arms into a field goal, lower them down either side of front foot, toes of back foot. Inhale, exhale, step hands back into downward facing dog. Come high to toes, lower your knees, all fours. This time, bring left hand to low belly. Lean back and into your own spine as you begin to twist open to the left. Low belly, low ribs, heart center. Extending arm up, exhale, thread left arm through under right. Inhale, draw back up from low belly, sweep arms up. Exhale, thread arm through. Let's take this a few more times. Attention on your breathing, move at your own pace. It may be a little faster or slower than me. Breathing in, breathing out. And coming back to all fours. Round up right between the shoulder blades and exhale, lengthening. Draw back up from low belly, round up right between the shoulder blades and lengthen. Good. Come back to all fours. Shifting weight to the left, extend the right leg back behind you, hip level. If you notice your right hip wanting to open, take the time to bring toes to the mat, square your hips, and then lift leg once again. Micro bend and elbow creases. Bending your right knee, draw sole of the foot towards the sky, and then lift from the front of the thigh, almost as if you're reaching the foot towards the ceiling. Okay, this is one stage, you can stay here. The next stage would be to lift the left arm right in line with the earth. Leaning back and into your own spine. You might sweep left arm around and just move in the direction of your ankle. Breathe. Unwind, extend arm, leg, lower back down to all fours. Round up right between the shoulder blades. Exhale, set hips back to your heels. Take a cleansing breath. Draw back up to all fours, round up right between the shoulder blades. Exhale, float hips to heels, wave like motion along your spine. Draw back up to all fours, stable all fours. Shift weight right, extend left leg, this time back behind you, hip level. Take the time to align the low body, press down especially through the right shin and top of foot. 
and then lift the leg back up. Inhale, exhale, bending at knee, foot towards the sky, and then press up through the front of the thigh without opening the hip. So this is a great stage to stay at, attention on your breathing. If your breathing is still deep and full, and you'd like to take a next stage, and like send the right arm out right in line with your ear. Breathe. And maybe next stage you reach the right hand back in the direction of the ankle. Notice your breath. Good, unwind. Come back down to all fours. Inhale, round up right between the shoulder blades and exhale, set hips back to your heels. Draw up from all fours. Round up right between the shoulder blades. Exhale, set your hips back to your heels. Breathing in. Breathing out, pause in child's pose for one moment. Take deep cleansing breath. Let neck and shoulders relax. Draw up from low belly, come back up to all fours. Turn toes, shift hips back and up, downward facing dog. Come high to toes, step or walk top of the mat, forward fold, head heavy. Maybe again you reach for elbows in front of or behind your knees. Release elbows. If you have hold, lift from low belly, lead with your heart, come all the way back up into standing. On top of the mat, hands are on your hips, shift weight to the left, step back with your right foot to two and a half feet. Notice strength down the back leg, inhale, lengthen, exhaling, hinge right at the left hip crease, begin to fold forward, pause about half or a quarter of the way. Keep length along your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw up from low belly. Come back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, draw back up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, this time as you hinge, begin to fold forward. You come all the way down into your version of intense side stretch. Maybe hands come to thighs, to shins, or to the ground. Let there be a natural rounding in your spine. Head heavy. Notice the strength down the back right leg. Maintain that even as you fold. And then building from the ground up once again. As you press through the back foot, lift from low belly, bend the front knee enough so that your fingertips come to the mat and you're lengthening your spine. So once again, I'm engaged, I'm leaning back and into my own spine. And from here, shift weight into the left foot, come to the toes of the back foot. Fingertips walk forward just a little bit. On your exhale, back leg lifts, warrior three. Virabhadrasana three, breathe. Step your back foot back lightly. Let your head hang heavy once again. Release, relax. Press through the sole of the right foot. Make sure it's strong. Thigh bones draw in, hands to your hips. Lift from low belly, lead with your heart. Come back up. Toes of the back foot, inhale. Exhale, step up top of the mat. And take the other side. First off, just notice if there's any differences between the left and the right side of your body. And as you're ready, shift weight right, step back with left foot to two and a half feet. Feel stable in your base, you can widen it. Just a little bit more than narrow if that helps. 
hands are at your hips, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge your hips, fold forward, pause, a quarter or halfway. Back leg is really strong, so I'm sending lots of energy down through the sole of the back left foot. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, draw back up. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge. This time your hands can come down, hips, thighs, shins, or ground as you allow a natural rounding in your spine. Head is heavy. Intense side stretch, parsva uttanasana. However, my back leg is really strong. I'm still pressing through the sole of the left foot. Notice your breathing. We'll start to transition into warrior three. Keep the back leg just as strong as it is now. Lean back and into your own spine so I'm engaged and bend the front knee. So let your fingertips walk forward. As you shift weight into right foot, exhale. Lift the back leg, warrior three. Breathe. And exhale, mindfully lower back leg. Again, fold back over your right leg, head heavy. Leaning back and into your own spine, bring hands to hips. Lift from low belly, lead with your heart. Come up into standing. Toes of the back foot, exhale, come up. Top of the mat. Your gaze is lifted. Let your hands rest to your hips and notice weight even on the soles of your feet. Shifting weight to the left, bend the right foot, draw heel toward hip. Just like we did on all fours, press back through the front of the thigh without opening through the hips. Good. Draw back, lower leg. Weight even on the soles of your feet. Shifting weight to the right, bend left knee, draw heel toward hip. Press the front of the thigh back towards the back wall behind you. And breathe, a really small movement here. So imagine that you're sending your foot instead of towards the ceiling, towards the wall directly behind you. Good, release that. Come back into standing. You're at the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep arms up and overhead. Exhaling, hinging your hips, fold forward. Drop, lengthening your spine. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Come high to toes, lower your knees, all fours. Round up between the shoulder blades and then float your hips back to your heels. Wave-like motion along your spine. Draw back up from low belly. Turn toes, send hips back and up, downward facing dog. From high to toes, lower knees, all fours. Round up between the shoulder blades and then float hips to heels. One more time, chuck river across and a draw from low belly. Turn toes, send hips back and up, downward facing dog. High to toes, lower your knees. Round up between shoulder blades and float hips to your heels. And then find your variation of child's pose, whatever is most comfortable for you. Maybe you take a cleansing breath or two. Especially if you notice your mind jumping to anything other than your breathing, you're moving and breathing. Let it go, take a cleansing breath and then return right back to the practice of naming your breath. Say to yourself silently as you inhale, breathing in. Say to yourself silently, breathing out. Your hands are not overhead. Bring them back up now. Drop from low belly. Come back up to all fours. 
Take your feet to either side of your hips. Come on to seated on your mat. If you need to prop your hips, you can do so. Extend your legs out in front of you. Your hands are at your sides. Inhale, sweep arms up and overhead. Exhaling, hinging your hips, take arms out wide like a beautiful. Draw back up from low belly. Inhale, come back up, sweep arms up. Exhaling, hinge, arms out wide. Breathing in, breathing out. Once or twice more, breathing in, breathing out. This time, let hands come to thighs, shins, wherever they fall in your version of the forward fold. Keep lengthening along your spine, gaze lifted. Draw back up from low belly, come back up to center. Bending your knees, bring feet to the mat, and then knees come out wide for bound angle pose, Baddha Konasana. Wrap hands around feet, ankles or calves. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinging, fold forward. Breathe, and as you inhale, continue to lengthen along your spine. Drawing up from low belly, inhale, come back to center. Bring your feet to the mat. Cross one forearm over your knees and then the other. As you round through the upper spine, draw your forehead down towards your forearms. It may not touch. Let your head be heavy. Lifting from the front of your spine, head lifts, release hands. Scoot towards the middle of your mat if you're not already. And then with your hands, forearms come all the way down onto your back. Your knees are bent. Let your hands be at your sides, palms facing down. Inhale, scoop tailbone. Begin to lift your hips up into bridge. Satubandha Sarvakasana. Come high to toes, roll back down. So good for the health of your spine. Wave-like motion, inhale, scoop, tailbone, lift hips up. Coming high to toes, roll back down. Once or twice more, breathing in. Breathing out. Press down through the soles of your feet. And relax your neck and shoulders. But this last time as you lower, draw knees in toward your chest. Place your hands on your knees and rock from one side to the other. Maybe press your knees away, draw them back, or make circles on the ceiling. Notice any sensation, tightness, or tension, especially in low back. If you sense that, imagine you could send your breath right to that area. You may even want to pause there. And come back to center, extend your arms out shoulder level, palms facing down. Engaging your feet, scoop tailbone, exhale, knees move towards right upper arm. And glance out over your left. Draw back up from low belly, come back to center, and take your knees towards the left upper arm, glance out over right. Good. Draw back up from low belly, come back to center. Just slide your hands to either side of your body and extend your legs up towards the sky. Bending knees as you need. Feel your low back drawing down towards the ground. If you happen to be very close to a wall, you could scoot up against the wall, sit bones there, 
and let your legs rest against the wall for the full version of legs up the wall. One of the bonuses of being home, I guess. And then bending your knees just a little bit. Place your hands, palms facing down under your hips. And then engage back through your legs. So cross the feet up towards the sky. You can keep your knees bent for tight hamstrings, but make the legs strong, almost as if you were standing on them. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, begin to slowly lower your legs down towards the mat. Keep your neck. Your shoulders relax as you lower all the way down. And once you, your legs come in contact with the mat, release hands. Stretch your arms up and overhead, full body stretch the whole length of your mat. And point or flex toes. Feel everything lengthening. And sweep your arms back down to your sides. Bend your knees, feet to the mat. Inhale, draw your right knee in towards your chest. Knee out wide, ankle over thigh. Engaging feet. You can stay here and more relaxed yin version of this pose, or if you'd like to deepen the stretch into your right hip, interlace hands behind the left thigh. Thigh draws in. Recline pigeon. Really safe way to practice this hip opener. Relax neck and shoulders, breathe deeply. And then lower back down. Release your foot to the mat, sense any differences in the sides of your body. And as you're ready, draw the left knee in, ankle over thigh. Knee comes up wide. Again, you can stay here. Pressing the left knee away, a little more relaxed or yin variation on this pose. If you'd like to deepen the stretch, begin to draw the right thigh in, interlace hands behind your thigh. Keep your feet engaged, lift and spread toes. You can make this stretch as relaxing, as deep as you'd like it to be tonight. Relaxing your shoulders and neck. Unwind mindfully, bring both feet back to the mat. And just check in, notice if your body needs anything before we move in towards Shavasana. Maybe happy baby. If you have any props that you'd like to use for Shavasana, you can go ahead and reach for those now, maybe an eye pillow or blanket. Place one hand on your low belly and one hand on your heart. Extending your legs out if that's your variation of Shavasana or you can keep your knees bent. If you choose this option, take your feet about mat distance apart and let your knees fall in on each other so you don't hold anything. Feel or sense the beating of your heart.
Say silently to yourself, I am all right, right now. You can release the practice of naming your breath. And if you notice your mind busy or active, instead replace it with the, I am all right, right now the natural rise and fall of your breath. Let your eyes close. And whenever you're ready, let your palms face up next to you as you prepare for Shavasana. Begin to relax your body. Starting with the soles of your feet. Let your head, torso, legs all be heavy. The only thing that you need to be thinking of is the rise and the fall of your breath. This is where your body begins to integrate all the benefits of your practice.
Bring your attention back to your breathing. Feel the rise of your inhale and the fall of your exhale. Begin to awaken your body, move fingers and toes, arms and legs. Take your head to the left and the right. And as you're ready, bending knees, feet to the mat, draw knees in towards chest. Help yourself to the right side of your body and pause. Take one full breath cycle there. And then as you're ready, use the strength of your hands to guide yourself up into seated. Keeping your eyes closed as much as you're able. We'll meet and seated with palms together at heart center.
Thank you for joining me this evening for your presence. May you be peaceful. May you be happy. May you be at ease. Namaste. Oh, you're good. You guys are still there. <laughs>